folks. My name is Girish Bali, the host for Back to Basics, another Back to Basics for another week. Today we're uh, we're going to be talking about flower essence, and why is it so damn important for the flower essence? Is there a benefit to it? Is there a benefit to it? Those are the things that we'll be talking about today. It is all natural for sure, but now the question is: Is always natural a good thing or a bad thing? That's up to you to decide, but that's what we're going to be discussing today with a guest of mine. His name is Mark, and I spoke with him a couple of weeks back, maybe a couple of months back, and he was sick, and now he's back. So uh, let's go and talk to Mark, and let's uh, figure out the the flower essence and his whole company and whatever he do, is doing. So, Mark, how are you? And thanks for coming to uh, Back to Basics. Uh, I'm well, yeah, and uh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Thank you again. Thank you for coming on Back to Basics here. So before we talk about the the flower essence and your company and and any benefits to it and all the other stuff that we're going to talk about, what does uh, Back to Basic uh, mean to you? Uh, it, I've been pondering this question of uh, listening to some of your uh, your podcasts and you asking this question to others and um, and. To me, it means like remembering and time and this concept as well that we can actually, that there was a basic, a time when life was basic and we can get back to that. And so it, it, it's, I don't have a clear answer except it just opens up an inquiry into like, what, what does this mean? Because, uh, about 10 years ago, I read a book by Helen and Scott Nearing, who left the big city with all its pollution. And the way they describe it, and you're reading it, you realize they're talking about the 20s and 30s, and how they had to get away from all this hustle and bustle, move to Vermont, and, 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 and start a simple life. And so it, it's, it's really, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting concept that I think um, there's no clear answer of what the what, what basic actually is. Yeah, I I totally agree with that. And some people will give an answer, some people don't. And then there are some people just like you, they don't know exactly what basics is, and that's quite okay. So thank you again for coming on the show. Yeah, uh, definitely honored uh, for you to be here. You know, uh, Mark, let me ask you this question here. Yeah. This. This company that you have, the uh, Essence Alamac, right? Alchemy. So that again, I'm sorry. Oh, Essence Alchemy. Alchemy. Sorry about that. Yeah. So, where did this whole thing uh, start, and uh, and how did this whole process started for you? You know, it it started out of. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's it's. Uh, should I start again? Yeah, yeah, please. please. All right. It started out of uh, curiosity, really. Um, it was uh, about twenty years ago. I found a book on flower essences, and I picked up this book and I read it, and I had no idea what they were talking about, and I knew they weren't talking about herbs. And I knew they weren't talking about essential oils. And so it just got me really curious. What in the world are they talking about? So this was actually more than 20 years ago, actually, because it was 19, say 98 or 97. And um, and then from there, I just uh, went to a, a health food store at the time and found a flower essence um, by the Bach company. And I tried them and I was... Um, I was pleasantly surprised uh, of, of what I was noticing in my awareness and how I was responding to life. And, uh, it just started from that real simple curiosity and that's kind of really what guides me still. Like, um, like I still operate from this place of a continual uh, questioning and inquiry, knowing that, um, uh, yeah, it's just this wide open field that um, there's no, yeah, yeah, that just fun to keep exploring. In, so. so, Mark, uh, thank you again, Mark, uh, for that. You know, 
these flower essence that you have is are there different different ones uh, i mean how different are they let's put it that way i mean i i'm pretty sure there's a difference between a regular flower and rose but then what about the other flowers that you discovered oh yeah there's a there's a really uh there's a lot of differences um there's these uh uh i'll say differences and similarities um so um meaning like i started making uh exploring making essences when i lived in california in 2006 and in that environment there's much the plants are very different than where i live now which is in western north carolina which is a very moist environment uh kind of a you know woodland and so in california it's this uh, uh more of a dry landscape uh very arid um and so and so you can find differences uh, in a couple realms, such as um, the type of the place where it grows, and then as well as the type of flower that it is. Um, so the first flower essence that I made is of a mariposa lily. And so in Spanish, mariposa means butterfly. And the mariposa lily, um, there are a number of types of mariposa lilies. Are very beautiful flowers. I suggest who's ever listening to this to actually look up mariposa lily, and uh, you'll just see there's just a number of gorgeous uh, types. And so this one was yellow, was well, still is yellow, and um, it has a uh, burgundy spots on the inside and hairs. And um, I was really drawn to it because it really stuck out in this um, early June Southern California landscape that's very dry, and. Um, and so I just, I, I, I made that essence. And then I took many years to just research it and give it to other practitioners. And um, the feedback I got was, it helps people who have had an emotionally abusive mother. And um, it, it does this by restoring uh, levels of safety and confidence uh, within the um, emotional body and the mental body to help people uh, heal from this trauma, to support people to heal from this trauma and, and find their uh, confidence that may have been um, disrupted by that and to find their sense of safety and self-worth that can often come when there's been this kind of fracturing in this primary relationship. So, uh, yeah. So let me ask you this, and I think you have answered this question, but uh, I'll ask you anyway. But there are certain flowers only in certain locations in in the U.S. or other locations. Let's say, for example, if I take this lily that you just example uh, yeah. gave an example for, I cannot grow this in New Jersey because I think the climate is a little different, right? What are your What are your thoughts on that? You would have a, a hard time growing it in New Jersey. Um, you might succeed if you really replicated. Uh, the environment quite well, got some uh, uh, more of a, a decayed granite type soil on a slope with good drainage and, you know, south facing. But um, I had a, like, but that's, uh, I, I don't know, I don't even see why one would do that because within in New Jersey, there are many many wonderful flowers that grow there that don't grow in California. And so, um, yeah, it's, I, I don't know. I, 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 it, yeah, so, so within certain environments, there are endemic plants. Um, in California, because of the nature of the place, there are quite a number of um, endemic plants. Um, and uh, just other kind of it, even within California, it's really interesting. Uh, there's a mariposa lily called the Tiburon mariposa lily that only grows in this one area around the Bay Area where there's a, a lot of serpentine uh, mineral in the soil. And so it only grows in this, you know, it's only grows in this really small zone. And so 
like even within the rarefied environments there's it gets even more more minute which is really fascinating like when i lived in ojai california i was always on the lookout for this one particular flower that only grows in this one canyon and um never found it so but wow i, I know it's there so yeah. you know th thank you again mark uh, for explaining that and i guess there are certain dis different different uh, locations and different flowers and and slowly they're just diluting away and and demolishing i guess yeah uh, so fading away so but there are benefits to these uh, essence right and and what are the benefits i mean did we do a research on that as to does it make you moody does it make you nice does it make you what i mean what what are the uh, the benefits to this is there a health benefit to it what are your thoughts on that yeah 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 that's an interesting question um e even this concept that something will make us some way um like in the past i've given essences to people oh it made me feel this and it's like I, 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 like you're 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 giving a lot of power to this thing and you're almost kind of diminishing your responsibility. Um, so my response is, uh, in my experience, they're not gonna give you anything you don't have already. So they're not gonna make you angry. You know, they may soften you emotionally. And then once you are softer, then maybe you begin to feel the anger that's there. They're not gonna make you more confident. Uh, they're just, they'll, they'll help you access your courage so that you can act even though you may be afraid of a certain situation. Like, oh, I'm really scared to go on podcasts. Like, it's not gonna make you not scared. It's just gonna give you access to what you already have, which is the courage to go onto the podcast. So it's this, it's this really, uh, so um, to kind of put it in a real simple way, uh, so Dr. Bach, who did, um, who's the most well-known in this field, he said they accentu accentuate the virtues, our virtues. So that's what he was looking for. Um, just, uh, yeah, how do we bring out these natural virtues, which we all have, and, these things, they, they don't get covered up, but they get mired, I'll say, in, um, in all manner of things, uh, bullying, childhood trauma, um, maybe, maybe just the insecurity and you never had someone kind of just give you the, hey, you can do this. And, you know, uh, and then once you do that little thing, you're like, oh, I can do this. And then that insecurity, diminishes and then you're like oh i have access to this but even like with everything we all go in these ebbs and flows within a week even within a day you know like you could wake up one morning and be like oh really like now i feel this yesterday i didn't feel this it's so it's this funny um thing of flowing through life yeah yeah, Mark, uh, thank you. Thank you again. But these are all natural and, and these are all natural, correct? Yes, yes. So is, there, is, there any, is there any side effect to this? No, there's no side effect. There's no like, um, like if you take a flower essence, there's no contraindication. Um, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, not. Yeah. Yeah. So Mark, thank you again for that. And, and, and the the company that you have, you're selling all these uh, essence through uh, a spray and oil. And so can you explain the, the whole process of that as to how did you think up with this and, 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 and how do you sell this? And, and what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Um, so I have a, a sprays, which have become really popular recently. And I have, um, and they come in um, small, uh, bottles like this if you're watching it's a 15 milliliter that's a half ounce dropper bottle um and so 
I started offering these uh, for sale, I don't know, uh, about 10 years ago. And um, it was really at the prompting of other practitioners who I had shared these essences with and who were using them. And they were using them in their practice and finding uh, a lot of benefit from it. And so, um, yeah, I felt confident that what I had, what I had created was of use. So it was at that moment that I began to offer them. And then uh, about six years ago, so 2016, um, a group of chiropractors started to use them. And um, they've really taken the essences to, uh, within their practice, they've taken the essences to a new place in how they discern what, um, what, what benefits they have. And so, uh, yeah, so I sell to the, offer them to the public, and then there's a, a number of practitioners and acupuncturists, chiropractors, uh, NDs, so naturopathic doctors, um, uh, massage therapists, uh, craniosacral practitioners that are now using them all over the country and in other countries. And um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just really honored, and I just hope I can keep up really <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mark, yeah. Uh, thank you again for explaining that and, and i was just going to go and ask you that question but it looks like you already answered the question ask you you know these are the places that you know it it brings benefits to this uh, to the health uh, side of things right and and your body and and the benefits to it so now the, the next question that i actually have is that um when it comes to this what is the next step after this? What, what are your thoughts on how do we compare the other uh, essence uh, companies out there with with yours? And and is there a difference? And what are consumers are supposed to be reading uh, into these bottles? I mean, the ingredients, obviously, but how do you know who's the right one and who's not? <laughs> it's a very uh, it's a, it's a nice broad question. Um, so. I actually had this a similar type question posed to me about a month ago by a doctor in Texas who said, I use XYZ company. How are yours better or what? I don't know. And I was like, it, it's not even, uh, it's not even a question of, are mine better or not? It's like, I'm not even getting into this realm. It's like the practitioners who use my essences or these essences, they really like them. They find a lot of benefit. And so that's all I say. It, it's like, use whatever you feel drawn to. I really, it, 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 it's not, I have no, Sure, I have a company, I sell essences, but I'm not here to convince anybody to use the essences that I uh, produce because I've learned to trust that those who, uh, who will uh, benefit will find it and use it. And um, I, so I make essences and I also work uh, with people one-on-one. -on -one where we do an intake and then I'll make them a formula and send that to them. And my at home uh, apothecary, I have my essences and I have about four or five different other producers essences. And so there are some that do a certain thing that I don't, that, that you know that that's needed and that I don't have and so it's it's um it's kind of I really go with what's needed at the moment and um and um you know it's kind of like moving away from this uh, this idea of competition which is really kind of rooted in some idea of scarcity you know like there's seven what is it now seven and a half billion people on the planet that's a lot of people. Like, 
I'm sure out of that seven and a half billion, those who uh, might benefit from my essences will find them. And um, yeah, so I really encourage people to, um, to just go with what feels right. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I hope that answers your here. Yeah, it does actually, because there's no right answer, is there? Because I, I think yeah. it really depends on what's right for the individual. Yeah. Uh, and I always wanted to ask uh, people who come up with these type of uh, companies, want to understand from their analysis that, you know, are they better or is just whatever is best for the, the clients? Uh, I, I think that's the right answer, I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. So thank you again, Mark, uh, for explaining that. And, I, and I'm glad that you answered that that question, uh, you know, and I have that same answer in my mind too. So thank you again for that. So Mark, before you leave today, do you have any last words for any of my listeners and viewers and how is your, uh, you know, a journey on back to basics here so far? Yeah. Do I have any words? Um, well, yeah, I'll, I'll just kind of end with a little, uh, so Dr. Bach, who, first kind of codified essence use. Uh, so this is uh, 1926, give or take. And um, back then he saw this mind body connection and he saw it in his patients. He was a, he was a, uh, he was a, a, a doctor um, who had a practice in London on Harley street, which is a famous street for doctors. And, um, he began to notice, he's very a, a keen, very astute observer. He noticed that, that certain, in a very simple way, I'll say, certain type of people had certain type of illnesses. So I'm being very simple, but in, in general, I noticed that like uh, the person who was very um, um, fearful or angry, they had this common thread within their personality and then how a disease manifests in their body. And so he just was like, oh, this is really interesting, noticing noticing this. Um, and so his approach was like, how do we address the emotional realm? Um, and so what, what I, and I just, and I bring this in because you, because in this final words I'd say like, it's really, and now in 2022, we are really more aware of how our emotions, how our thoughts affect our health, our well-being. Um, we're much more aware of how adverse childhood experiences affect our health, how traumas affect our health, how, um, uh, you know, just... Um, all kinds of different experiences that exist within this realm of the emotional and the mental, and maybe psychological is a better term, even spiritual, I would say, um, you know, uh, how this affects how we feel physically. And so, um, the, what I'd like to leave is just, just really encourage people to, uh, being, be more aware of, of, of what they're feeling and when and how it is affecting them and maybe affecting those around them. And, um, and, and uh, yeah, because it's, it's really important. And I think, I think as a society, the more we take responsibility for how we feel and um, I think that we'll be a really better off in general um so yeah i could go on and on about that but i won't i'll just leave it at that yeah i've been i've enjoyed it i've enjoyed this time and um yeah it's a it's a it's a very wide realm of flower essences and um and uh, it's nice to be able to distill it down uh with just a few questions even though i i can um my wife can attest that i can just go on for hours <laughs> so, sure. thank you yeah. thank you so much and you, were, you know while you were speaking I, I was getting a lot of sense of uh positivity coming out of uh, your side is because i was hearing some uh, background uh bird uh you know chirping in the back 
So it's, it's great. So thank you again, Mark, for, for yeah. coming here on the show. And uh, I'm definitely honored and I'll start looking at it more uh, and, and visualize more in my head when it comes to flower essence, instead of just saying, ah, oh, it is definitely a nice smell. And, and thank <laughs> people that there is some advantage to it. And, and you know, it, there might be some research to that. So I will definitely look into that and look into your work too. So thank you again, Mark, for, for coming here on the show. You're welcome. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. So guys, we spoke with Mark today and we talked about the basics of flower essence, right? And we talked about that there are benefits to it. There's no side effect to it. It's all natural, isn't it? Now, there's one thing that I'm just going to say. When you smell some flowers, double think as to what you're smelling and what are the advantages. I will do that same thing too. Now, as usual, as always, there is a quote of the day from Back to Basics and hopefully Mark will uh, like that uh, quote. The quote is, the energy of the mind is the essence of life. Guys, take care, God bless. And remember, what do I always say at the end of the episode? Everything in life goes back to basics and that's what we did today, guys. Guys, take care, God bless. Keep on commenting on all my episodes because it does help me day by day, week by week from your comments to make me stronger day by day and week by week, that is. And there are three things in every episode, including this one, makes it a hit for me, that is, which is the content, the guest, and definitely the host. Guys, take care. God bless. And I will see you next time on Back to Basics. Take next week's episode on Back to Basics. Who is a monster player and who loves what he's doing than the guy who has $10,000, $20,000 worth of equipment that he doesn't know how to use, which mm -hmm. I've seen. You know, So it really comes down to the heart of the player yeah yeah thank you thank you again ryan you know before we start about your journey um what is let me ask you this what does music mean to you uh you know it's art at its core is the manipulation of emotion period